what started out as a pickup with a camper shell conversion has become one of the hotly contested segments in the automotive landscape today. We are of course talking about the pickup platform vehicles or the PPV. Also known as mid-sized SUVs, these vehicles have taken the market by storm and with their ruggedness and versatility, it's easy to see why. Two popular options are the Ford Everest and the Toyota Fortuner. The Everest kicked off the second wave of mid-size SUVs by offering high levels of kit and equipment in what used to be a workhorse. Toyota countered that with the second generation Fortuner and has rocketed up the sales chart. Now it's time to put these two heavyweights head to head. the clash of the titans in this week's head-to-head -head as we pitch two heavyweights in the pickup platform vehicle segment. Waving the blue oval flag is the Ford Everest and over the dependable T-brand is the Toyota Fortuner. Let's see how the two stack up. In the Ford Everest, it is available in two engine options. It starts with a 2.2-liter four-cylinder Duratorque TDCI turbo diesel that puts out 160 PS and 385 NM of torque. Should you need more grunt, there's also a 5-cylinder 3.2-liter Duratorque TDCI turbo diesel with 200 PS and 470 NM of torque. Moving to the Toyota Fortuner, there are three engine selections available. The Fortuner is the only SUV in its class to offer a gas engine courtesy of the 4-cylinder 2.7-liter dual VVT-i mill with an output of 163 PS and 245 Nm of torque. Meanwhile, the turbo diesel range starts with a 2.4-liter D4D with 150 PS and 400 Nm of torque. Top spec models get the 2.8-liter D4D that puts out 177 PS and a torque figure of 450 Nm. Both the Everest and the Fortuner can be paired with either a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic transmission. However, the two differ when it comes to the respective four-wheel drive hardware. The Toyota sticks to the traditional 2-high, 4-high, 4-low arrangement, while the Everest comes with terrain management system. It allows the user to select various models in the 4-wheel drive system depending on the obstacles and conditions. Both SUVs follow the traditional body-on-frame construction as both are based on existing pickups, namely the Ford Ranger and Toyota Hilux. Also common in this class is their suspension setups. The Fortuner and Everest ride in a double wishbone front suspension and a multi-link rigid axle setup with coil springs for the rear. We've taken a look at the oily bits. Let's now move on to their interiors. The Toyota Fortuner comes standard with a multi-function steering wheel. It also gets an economy meter as well as manual climate control. Move up the range and it adds automatic climate control and power seats for the driver. Entry-level models get fabric seats while the top-of-the-line variants get seats trimmed in leather. The Toyota Fortuner also gets a cool box that serves as the SUV's mini-refrigerator. All variants get a 6.5-inch touchscreen with navigation with Bluetooth, auxiliary, and DVD with MP3 capability as standard. Step inside the Everest and you are greeted by a premium yet utilitarian interior. All models get a multi-function steering wheel, as well as a multi-information display to relay information to the driver. Entry-level models get manual climate control, while the mid- to top-spec models get automatic climate control as standard. Along with power seats, opt for the premium package and you also get a dual-pane moonproof and a power lift gate. As for infotainment, low-end models are equipped with a 4.0-inch color screen, while the rest of the range gets an 8.0-inch touchscreens that boasts SYNC 3. SYNC 3 not only handles entertainment functions such as Bluetooth, auxiliary, and CD, it also stores and saves information from your mobile device, a voice command feature, a compass, and climate control options. 
from their interiors, we move on to their exteriors, starting with the Ford Everest. It primarily gets its look from the Ranger, particularly at the front fascia. It is fitted with a three-bar hexagonal grille that is paired with headlights that comes with either halogen or HIDs with LED daytime running lights. From the windshield and back, the Everest is its own car with a different pair of doors and a more upswept window line. The rear, on the other hand, gets an elongated hexagonal headlights and single chrome bar. The Toyota Fortuner takes cues from its larger sibling, the Land Cruiser. Up front is a bold grille with a large Toyota emblem taking the center. The slim headlights also takes a page from some of Toyota's cars from here and abroad. On to its side, it features a window line that kicks upwards towards the rear. As far as the rear goes, it gets slim taillights to match its headlights. Overall, the styling of the Fortuner is differentiated from the Hilux. Moving on to safety equipment, base model Fortuners come equipped with ABS and EBD and dual airbags. It also benefits from trailer sway control, brake override, and reverse sensors. Ford, on the other hand, ups the ante in safety features. Aside from the usual ABS and a host of airbags, mid-spec to top-of-the-line models get stability control and traction control, roll stability control, trailway sway control, hill descent control, front and rear park assist, and rear view cameras. In the premium models, it adds lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, forward collision warning, and active park assist. Last but not least are the variants and prices. The Toyota Fortuner has five variants, 2.4G MT 4x4, 2.4G AT 4x2, 2.7G AT 4x2, 2.4V AT 4x2, and 2.8V AT 4x4. And prices ranged from 1,386,000 pesos to 2,183,000 pesos. As for the Ford Everest, it has seven variants, namely the Ambiente 4x2 MT, Ambiente 4x2 AT, Trend 4x2 AT, Titanium 4x2 AT, Titanium Premium Pack 4x2 AT, Titanium 4x4 AT, and Titanium Premium Pack AT. Prices for the Everest range from 1,375,000 pesos to 2,109,000 pesos. still have a difficult time choosing? Well, we don't blame you, as both offer compelling packages to meet the demands of the modern mid-size SUV shopper. Choose between the Everest and the Fortuner, and you're guaranteed a satisfying ownership experience. With this segment being fiercely competitive, it's exciting to see how the manufacturers will continue stepping up their game.